Online education is booming, and with Wondershare Demo Creator, you can actually enhance your experience to create online courses with very, very little ease. Whether you're a teacher, a creator, or just someone that wants to make some educational content, this is probably the platform you should be using. So without further ado, drop a like on the video, and let's just jump straight into how to use this thing. So this is the Wondershare Demo Creator website, and these guys offer essentially an all-in solution for a creator that wants to create some educational content. So let's just jump straight into the program because I think you guys are really gonna like this one. So this is the Demo Creator landing page, and as you can see, all of the features are represented here. Some of these are virtual avatars, so you can actually have AI create an avatar for you and speak for you as well. It's pretty decent. You've got video presentation stuff here, and as well as that, some really advanced editing tools inside the program. If we scroll down here, some of the best features about this literally right here. So we can see the AI teleprompter. This is actually just going to give you something on the screen while you record so you can read and it looks like you're essentially thinking of it on the spot. That's fantastic. There's also a background remover here and with the video editing side of things, you can actually have multi-track recordings inside this program. There's also screen drawing tools and AI voice cleaner and denoiser. But a good thing about this product is most of it is integrated with AI and it is 2025 so this is something you would expect from such a big company like Wondershare. So this is good stuff let's dive straight into the platform and actually how to use it. So here we are inside the platform and it's very very simple and easy to use. Let's just start by recording a video. Here we can see the options of what we want to record here so we could do screen and camera, just camera, audio, the game that we're potentially playing or virtual avatar or or even a PowerPoint video presentation. That's the other good thing about this platform. You can actually have your PowerPoint put into this and displayed on the screen so you can present very effectively. So here we can see we are on my desktop and you can see by this little box here, this would be our recording space. Now, a lot of platforms don't offer this kind of customization where you could record a certain section of your screen. You could also change it midway through the recording, but let's just try and record this website here. What we're gonna do here is press record and then we'll get into some of the tools here. Okay, so now as you can see in the top right here that it's actually recording what I'm doing, which is fantastic. We can also go in and edit and even draw on this recording if we were to teach something. So if I was teaching someone how to do this, like in this video, I could circle things on the screen very, very easily. Okay, I could underline things. I could do a lot of things that you wouldn't really get on something like OBS or another video editing or recording platform. If we want to get rid of it, we just press undo and that's fantastic. Or we can and use the eraser tool to erase anything we've done on there. We can also change anything we want to in our desktop without actually changing where we're recording on the screen. So we can actually do this and it's going to record my desktop, as you can see here. Fantastic stuff there. Let's just stop the recording now and see what the editing is like. OK, so here we have the editing software. And as you can see, similar to Premiere Pro or anything like this, this is actually very intuitive and it works just as you would want it to. All right. So if we wanted to here, we've obviously got our timeline at the bottom. To get that set up, all you do is drag the clips down. You can have multiple multiple clips in that timeline. Obviously, we're only using one clip, so we don't need to. But we can also add subtitles to this as well by selecting the subtitle button. You can also subtitle with AI or you can import subtitles if you want. And if we go up to the top left here and select annotations, this is actually going to give us lots of different customization options that we can put into this video through the video editor. And this is where we can get into the AI effects. So if we go to the video effects section, we can actually add a green screen and get rid of our background background, we can add an AI portrait, we can blur our background, or we can even add various different effects like a cinema aspect ratio and even a beauty filter. So lots of different things you can do here. Great for things like TikTok, YouTube shorts, and really just getting your video out there with as little problems as possible. If you're using something like Premiere Pro, it can be a bit overwhelming and not simple enough, whereas this just gives you everything you want for the perfect video as a creator or as an educator. Here in the audio effects here, we can use AI denoise to make the audio clearer and we can also just make the voice cleaner and better equalized just generally with these tools. And because these are AI tools guys they work pretty decently I will say to say the least. And there's also a PowerPoint to video converter and this essentially allows you to take a PowerPoint presentation put it into their system and then convert it into a video. First with the app open on your computer click on the video 
editor button. And then once the video editor is open, simply click on the icon with the plus to import your PowerPoint presentation. Next, click on the clip that has been imported and you'll see that it is playing in the video editor. If you want to convert this completely into video, click on the little plus icon that's on the clip. Then just select which resolution you would like and press OK and it will automatically put it all into your timeline. Then you can press the record button in the top left and you could essentially record the entire presentation but also add vocals to that if you want to present it yourself or add an avatar to present it for you. And then once you're done recording, just press the record button again to stop and then you can begin editing your video. And that is how you can use the PowerPoint to video converter on Wondershare Demo Creator. So that is the Wondershare Demo Creator. And I will say it does everything that you need it to very, very easily. So if you are interested in this, definitely check it out in the description. It's very easy to get set up. You just press the buttons on the screen and then download it, install it, and it's pretty much as simple as anything to go from there. You can use this for recording game tutorials, you could use it for education courses, you could also just use it for your general YouTube videos. This thing does a lot in terms of features, and I love the fact that it's using AI, really just puts it ahead of all the other video editors and recorders out there. So that's going to be it for this video, definitely check it out in the description, be sure to drop a like on it, and I'll see you in the next one.